Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jonathan Davenport and Chris Madden on row number one. Here come the late models. It's showtime! Off of the turn number one, Jonathan Davenport with the early lead. It's Chris Madden going into second, turbo third. Jake Tim Ford battle for fifth between the Illinois drivers, Pearson Shepard. JD's going to lead the opening lap here in 49. He said last night he kind of wanted to get out front and set the pace. He'll do that right now. Chris Madden's going to hang right with him in the 49, turbo to third. So he said good battle out of trouble here. Turn number two, heads up, heads up. Everybody straightens themselves out. JD continues to lead off turn number four. Ricky Weiss got sideways, paying the price with Jimmy Owens. He got out the brakes hard and it took forever for that car to get woke back up. So Ricky Weiss saved it, saved a big wreck. Jimmy Owens got the worst of that, but still plenty of time. Brandon Shepard and Bobby Pierce ganging up on Jake Tim, who slipped a little bit, got into the cushion. Shepard will go by. Pierce not able to take advantage. Tim has to rally back on the outside. Bobby Pierce on the bottom of the racetrack under Jake Tim. Shepard in the fourth spot. Tim will take that right back away. Battle now for the second spot. Tyler Herb with a slider to the inside of the 44 of Madden. He'll take it. Tyler Herb now to that runner-up spot, and he's running in a groove that JD is not. Tyler Herb, high side momentum off turn number two. Herb with a slider for the race lead. Into Turn three, Davenport gonna cross back under him. JD still leads in 49. Turbo putting a show on for the fans with the first slide job for the lead. Stretching the lead a bit. He's got about a 1.2 second advantage over Tyler Herb. Still Chris Madden third. Bobby Pierce making moves now. Pierce oh. just across the wow. nose of Bruning. <laughs> wow, Tyler Bruning has been in a lot of action, even though he has a lap down. That time it was Bobby Pierce who just threw the bouncing slider on him. Pierce gonna throw another slider on Bruning in turn number four. Jimmy Owens off the pace. The 2014 champion is pulling to the infield. Owens is out. Keep an eye on Pierce series. He's coming after Madden for third. Davenport working on Trevor Gundaker. He'll put a lap by. There goes Jake Tim working on Ashton Winger. Winger said, ah, I'll just take position number five. And Winger does it. Here's Shepard. Three cars under a blanket right now. It's Brandon Shepard, Ashton Winger, Jake Tim all battling for the number five spot. Winger going after fifth as he'll work to the inside of Shepard. Shepard on the outside. Winger on the bottom. Tim right there. Good battle going out for fifth. Boy, great battle for second as well. Bobby Pierce threw a monster slider into three on Madden. He threw another one into one. Chris Madden's able to cross him over both times here. And again, Pierce going to go slider fest here for that third spot down the front straightaway. It'll continue to be the 49 and the one. But that battle for third, hot and heavy into one. I think it's been predetermined. When Bobby Pierce is done racing, he's going to go into franchising with White Castle. He's had more sliders than they could serve up in a half hour. Bader's in the wall at turn two. We're getting caution. Chad Bader will bring out caution as he got into the wall in turn number two. The Bloomer Wisconsin driver will bring out the first yellow at lap 35. Davenport ready to come back to the green. Off turn number four. Green flag back out for JD into one. He'll take off and break Chris Madden along with him. And here comes Turbo. Here comes Sheppy. Shepard now up to fourth. Brandon Shepard got by Bobby Pierce. Three wide out of turn number four. Chris for second. Nice look. Really good battle for that second spot early. Shepard, early mover here after the restart. Brandon Shepard to the bottom. Shepard going to go three wide for a moment. Trouble Caution. on the front straightaway here. These oh. 16 and 25 together. And there's a flat already. You can see on the left front of Fager. Broken rim. Green flag back in the air. Jonathan Davenport back to the lead. Madden. Well, he knew what he was doing. Right down to the bottom goes the 44. Turbo's going to wind it up off turn number two. Down to the bottom. Oh, he thought about a slider. Yes. He's going to wait for just a moment. Davenport continues to lead. Trouble in turn number three. Oh, look out. Clanton's involved. Larson's involved. Gundaker is over there. And Tyler Bruning. And Tyler Bruning has damage this time. That's not a good look. Tanner English involved over there. Yeah, I mean, Clanton. it's just all broke loose going into three, and there's not much those guys could do. Yeah, damage to the nose piece of Gundaker. Here's your... Oh, there it is. Dirt uh, Vision replay. The 81E kind of slowed down. Garrett Smith had no choice but to get on the brakes, but he couldn't do it quick enough. The 81E got around. Everybody else paid the price. It looked like Tanner may have had a problem. And it looked like Turbo got a pretty good run off of turn number four. He's going to take second. Yep, sure did. Great restart for Tyler Herb. Madden going to work right through the middle, but Tyler Herb's got a head of steam. He'll take second. Now the back straight away in the one car. Pearson Shepard side by side for that spot as well. Jonathan Davenport right around the cushion. He'll continue to lead in 49. 
So Davenport continues to show the way. Turbo has got company, and it's Chris Madden slide job in turn number two. Turbo lets him go by. Now Tyler will go back after him underneath in three. Bounced a little bit out of four. Madden's going to hold second. Really good battle for second, an equally good battle for the four spot here. Madden to second, Erb to third. Now Shepard and Pierce continue to run side by side. Pierce had it a moment ago. Shepard went racing on by, and Bobby now back to the outside of the 32. Continue to run side by side for fourth off turn four. Side by side they are as we continue at lap 39 now in the books at Matt, but here comes Bobby Pierce to the high side. Pierce riding the rim, pushing the cushion, ripping the lip, calling what you want. Slide job in turn number two on Turbo. Turbo lets him get by. Turbo goes right back after him and takes it away. Well, we talked about this last night, but two years ago today, yep. the uh, infamous incident in turn at number one between the 32 and the one. Racing pretty hard inside the top five. Continues to be a battle here, wheel to wheel. Tyler Herb hanging on a third in one. Davenport still your leader. Madden's cut it to under eight tenths. Davenport continues to run around the top. Madden right to the middle. Let's see if JD is slowed at all. We're gonna lose Ryan Gustin's 19. Gustin's gonna roll to a halt, not gonna make it onto the infield. The caution's gonna fly for Gustin. Yeah, I think he's gonna wanna go to the work area and have Brett know and take a look at the TriStar engine and trans melee pistons machine. They'll all bunch up nice and tight. Seafoam restart zone out of turn number four. Davenport fires green as that we're back underway. Green flag one more time, just past the halfway point here in this one again. It's Davenport and Madden, Tyler Er, Bobby Pierce, side by side for the fifth spot. Ricky Weiss, a great restart. Weiss to the middle in the seven car. He's gone by Shepard and Hackenass both. Weiss now to the top five and seven. Yeah, he restarted seventh and in that one lap, he got two spots. Picked up the number five spot, up the banking went Pierce. Here comes Turbo right back to third. So Pierce and Turbo, man, the history. Bobby Pierce, yeah. the hood is up on the smooth operator. Yeah, so we just saw him slide into the pit area, into the hot pit area. And Mike Marler stopped back here as well. There's steam coming out. I wonder if maybe he's suffered some overheating. Well, Tyler Herb's at lap 62. He said he was going to wait till 50 to let it all hang out. I think he is living up to his prediction. And here it comes. Slide job in turn number three. Davenport lets him go across the nose. Turbo answers back. Davenport by half a car length. Tyler Herb's going after it at one. Tyler Herb around the cushion. Does JD leave him enough room? He no. does not. Down the back straight away. Herb going to go to the bottom. Another crossover move. Not really a slider. Trouble in turn number two. Oh. Oh, it was getting good. Caution comes out. That was Brandon Overton going around in two at lap 63. Green flag back out. Overton has come back out onto the racetrack in the 76. Again, it will be the 49, but the 44 a great restart that time. Chris Madden got by Tyler Erb here. He's up to the second spot as they work off turn number four. Turbo again around the outside. Battle for second. Close quarters between Madden and Turbo right there on the front stretch. I think Turbo actually let Madden know he was there with the nose of the race car. Ricky Weiss up to fourth. Brandon Shepard hanging around the top five. Three wide for the number two spot. Give it to Tyler. Green flag back out. Davenport again. Madden will slide all the way across. He'll take that momentum away from Turbo. He thought he did. No, he didn't. Down the back straight away went Herb. I don't know you can take momentum away from Turbo. I don't think there's any such thing. Tyler Herb's going for second on man. He'll take it. Here comes Ricky Weiss. Here comes Shepard. Here comes Marler. All of a sudden, they're all going to gang up. Yep, it's time to go. Shannon Babb all of a sudden in the mix as well, just outside of a top five and 18. Jonathan Davenport's moved up about a half a groove here these last two laps. He's trying to maintain that half a second advantage. And Madden has now run down Tyler Herb. Here comes Madden. Yes, caught him, got by him. Turbo says, hey, wait a minute, where'd you come from? I'm trying to win this race, and I don't want you taking it away. And Matt, of course, you know, he's won a lot of big races this year. He has just stolen second away. Chris Madden out of the second spot. White flag the next time by as Jonathan Davenport gets by Garrett Smith. Now Madden is running out of sands in the hourglass. If there's anything left in the 44, he's got to use it. He's got one lap left to figure this out. If not, Davenport gets 50 grand more. Final time here at the 35th running of the USA Nationals. Jonathan Davenport into turn number one. He's led every single lap. Down the back straight away. We'll work our way to the checkered for the third time in his career and back to back years. Superman wins the USA Nationals in 49. Steering wheel is off. 
And he's climbing out, Superman Jonathan Davenport. The confetti flies. Oh, it's huge, definitely. Uh, especially, you know, I kept having to change lanes and, you know, people, uh, Tyler passed me and Madden passed me or he got close to me. And I just kept having to step my game up just a little bit more and just dig down and find a little bit more. So uh, got to thank uh, Jason on the back straightaway. I, I don't know if I did everything he said, but uh, he, he was definitely helping me out there. <laughs> he was helping me out a whole lot there. Uh, it's, uh, so, uh, wow, um, what a great race car. You know, it's uh, like I told you the first night, we, uh, we unloaded and we set quick time, but I just wasn't comfortable with it. So it was good we had speed. I just had to get, get comfortable with it. But uh, we kept working on it, kept working on it. Vinny made some good calls on shocks. Jason made some good calls on spring combinations. Tyler done an excellent job on the tires. Uh, they never give up. And, uh, you know, I'd say they're probably just as good as anybody's. So. Oh uh, man, just uh, gotta thank them. Uh, Nutrient Ag Solutions, ASC Warranty, Spartan Mowers, uh, Bill Stein Shocks, Longhorn Chassis. Uh, had a Cornette in the night. <laughs> we, we switched back and forth, but Cornette and Clemens both do excellent jobs for us. Thanks to all these fans coming out, sticking out for the rain. Man, I can't believe we got it in. Uh, you know, the, the, the forecast was, was awful uh, all day. So uh, thanks for World Outlaws for uh, sticking it through and pushing through. Um, the track crew here at Cedar Lake done an excellent job. Um, just got to th thank everybody for sure. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.